Hi guys, it's the Blender Animator here and we're going to be doing our second video in the list of videos where I have to speak, uh, which requires effort, but I do get more longer views and that equals more money. Wait, what? Wait, okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you what we're going to be making. So we're not going to be making an audio file, but we're going to be making a Blender file, which looks something like this. And you should. it also should look something... Oops, just open something up. It also should look something like this, um, which doesn't look great, but it makes a really nice render. Well, well, that's what I think, okay? If you have different opinions, I don't care. So let's go ahead and file, open a new render file. Um, yep. Okay. Right, so let's go ahead and start off by creating a plane and rotating, rot 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 rotating? Rotating it on the x axis 90 degrees and moving it all the way over to there, which I'm going to do by clicking this little magnifying thing here. Right, just click it like that and then just move it all the way here to the edge. Now I want to go ahead and click S and then 16, like that, and then go ahead and shift D that and oops, shift D and then use your skills to move it all the way over there. And rotate it on the Z axis 90. You could rotate it like that, but you could encounter an error, and then you would go in the com comments and I'd actually have to answer you, so just don't please. Okay, so let's go ahead and select these two things now and click Control J to join them up and call this background. So, uh, can I spell background? Sorry. The background. Boom, there we go. And this, the texture for our background is going to be nothing because we don't want any textures. This is also meant to be a fast tutorial, not a slow tutorial. Okay, now if your cursor thing, which is this, is not in the middle, uh, it can really annoy you because then you're going to put it in the middle and then do all the stuff. So you can go ahead and click Shift and S and then cursor just sets the center on the snap settings and da -da, it's in the center now. Okay, so let's go ahead now and start on the head and create our sort of bottom bit. So we're going to go ahead and create the plane. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and size this up. So let's go ahead, oh, sorry, not size it, size up. Add a modifier. We're going to be adding an ocean modifier. So we get some really cool sort of ocean textures. And now we're going to go ahead and play around with our choppiness. So we can set this to one. We can set the scale to like five. And then we can see glitchiness. Maybe move this up a bit. Uh, oh. Okay, so that's like 0 0.1 and then select. Uh, set that up a bit. Yeah. I think. I think that'll work. There we go. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> yeah, that looks about right. So let's go ahead and make that a little bit smaller. We'll edit it eventually. And let's go ahead and start off. Uh, we'll We'll start off and create our first cube. So let's go ahead and create a cube and we're going to call this cube with a dash. So it looks like that. That, that changes like it completely. Okay, now let's make this cube really high in a physical sense, not any other sense whatsoever. And move it over here and here and give us uh, put a physics modifier on this. So you can do this by going ahead and click physics and then add active. Now before we continue I'm going to add a, add a passive monopsa physics thing to this. Oh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> Modifier I think. Something like that. So I'm going to add a passive to this. Make sure it is passive because we don't want this thing like, like if you add an active it will like fall off the ground and that will just look depressing. So let's not do that and add a passive. So then we get our lovely little block just falling into the ground depressingly. But we don't get our main ocean scene. Oops, I hit the microphone. We don't get our main ocean scene falling depressingly into the ground. Which, yeah. Okay. Now let's go ahead and remember not to add a texture to this and make sure it's on active. And now we're going to go ahead and click Shift D and X. Move up to there. And then click Shift and then R again until it gets all the way up there, and it'll just basically spam it until we get there, I think. 
Anyway, that's what's what's supposed to happen. And then like you should just select the rest. Also I got a comment from somebody saying um, I should use shift J. Oh remember mate to select one of these to make sure it doesn't select select that a bit. Yeah, and then like that screws up. But it's a brilliant opportunity for me to use the control G select thingy. Okay. Um is that like then we No? Oh and not work, did it? Okay, I'll do that. Uh, I think it was Control G. Sorry, uh, sorry, mate. Um, I don't know. You. Do I? Okay, I will add. Uh, try and use your thing, but at the moment I'm going to be using this. Uh, if you didn't see the um the message, which caused me to waste a bit of my video, but it means I get more um view watch time, which is good. Uh, just go ahead into my last video, watch that, it's actually reasonably good, unlike the rest of my videos, and you might see uh, his comment, uh, yeah. I'll try and do it in my, like my next video. Okay, now you want to go ahead and click Shift and D, and on the Y axis, and if you're concerned I haven't actually added a texture on your, to any of this, that is on purpose. So now you want to move up to this there, and click Shift R, 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 uh, and spam it until we get like that. Now click play, and they will fall off the ground depressingly, apart from like four who are just like special. Yeah, okay. Right, now we do need to add, apply this so it actually works. So click apply, and ta -da! it should work. Yay, so we've got this sort of cool texture here, which is good ish, I suppose, <laughs> if you like this sort of thing. And because I just want it to be over here, I'm gonna move this over. Maybe, make, maybe, maybe make it a bit, bit, bit um, smaller. There we go. Um, no, move it over here. <laughs> just like move it over here. And um, obviously, remember, not obviously. Come on, I'm doing a tutorial. Shouldn't be saying obviously. Um, uh, move it. Uh, add a physics modifier to the back so it doesn't all just start flying. So let's go ahead and. Physics modifier. Boom, that's it. And let's just play it again. And they all fall. And they create this sort of nice texture. But if you go ahead and add a texture, which you will need to do, which is going to be our emission texture, so let's go ahead and add a emission emis emis shader and change it to that. Go ahead and render. That's very cool, but like there's nothing. There's no light coming from the edges of this. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to do it by going up to the top and just selecting everything by clicking A until nothing is selected. And now click random amount of these. So just go ahead and click a ton, but do that while clicking shift. So you like click them all at once and then just click tons. There you go. Make sure it's not too much. Just like sort of make sure it's sort of sprinkling. Them. Block destruction. And now you want to click X and it'll make a load of holes in it. And that means when we drop it, we actually might get some light coming through it and also some interesting effects. So let's go ahead and click Shift it, sorry, Shift F now, and you'll see we've got some interesting light effects. And it looks very similar to the one I, at the preview I showed you. So now we're going to go ahead and add some clever textures on it. Um, well, not clever textures, but clever rendering things and stuff, just to make it look a bit nicer. But first, we need to go ahead and add a crap camera, a camera, a camera, and click Control Alt and then zero, and then just position it where you want. If you want to go faster, click Shift, um, and click Shift F to get this sort of mode here. Uh, maybe. There we go. And I, I'm gonna focus on a block here. So I'm gonna focus on um, put E and Q to go up. I'm gonna focus on this block. So I'm gonna go ahead and click focus. Focus on this block. And click size and 0.1. We're gonna set this to. And if we go ahead and render, go into render mode. You'll see they all. It's got some blurring effect over there, which is what we want generally. 
No, I'm going to go ahead and move to, uh, change the orientation a bit. So actually now I'm going to focus on this block. But the radius thing that I just set should keep the same. Same, it's just I don't want it to be there. And now if we go ahead into our render, pa uh, render panel and just go ahead and render it, we'll see a very nasty looking image. So if you're using Blender 2.8, Remember to go ahead and add a noise because it really works with these little blocks seen like this. And still, we've, even though we've done that, I'm going to add that changes to 300 because I've got a beefy computer. Yes. I've been waiting for a while to get that. Okay, now we want to go ahead and set our resolution all the way up to 100%. And basically ignore the rest of it. The rest of it. I'm going to use my graphic card, which you can do by just clicking device and GPU compute, and tiles to and set tiles to 256 by 256 because it's just faster for a graphic card. And render. Boom. And you'll see it start to render and it'll take forever. And I'm not going to do any sort of image editing on this because I just don't feel like it. So. Hope you learned at least one thing today on how to make something cool. I am going to be releasing a new website, uh, which will be released tomorrow, I think. It depends. Uh, and look out for that, because it will have the downloads to every single one of my project files. Well, it should. And it also will have free backgrounds, um, which you can download, which are all about these. And I'm actually quite happy with them. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, I can't even speak. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you again next time for another Blender tutorial.